Hello everyone, this is Josef Notch here and in this video I would like to give you a quick tip how you can possibly improve your meshing with Snappy Hex Mesh. So for example if I just go to a tutorial, a meshing tutorial of Snappy Hex Mesh, for example the flange tutorial. So here the, in the all run script you can see the commands that you have to execute block mesh surface feature extract and then snappy hex mesh dash override okay so let's do this so i usually st like to start with surface feature extract ah but first we have to copy the stl file don't forget to do that yes okay so surface feature extract and this creates a tri surface or emesh file. Okay, good and nice. And now we start with block mesh and then snappy hex mesh. Just like you would do in your normal case. And then uh, you, you run snappy hex mesh and then you realize that you want to change. Okay, I'm just going to. Um, quit this you want to change something here so you want to uh, use a flange refinement of only one instead of of a level two so usually what you do you delete um, the old mesh then you uh, re-execute poly mesh uh, block mesh and then you redo snappy hex mesh and yeah, sure, this is something that you can do, but I find that it is very tedious, especially on a Friday afternoon when you want to go home and you want to run a last mesh that you want to run over the weekend and then you forget something. You forget to execute minus override and then you copy the wrong mesh. So what I really like to use is an alias to use an alias for all these commands for for copying uh, for deleting running block mesh and snappy hex mesh and i also like to also execute check mesh uh, within so i use one alias and then all you have to do to, uh, to run the meshing to you have to just type in mesh and how to do that so you take these uh, lines so i just take these lines and copy them and you have to then enter this in your dot bash rc file this is where you enter your uh, open form versions and here there are a couple of lines for aliases and now if you enter these lines then from now on once you reload your bash rc file you just type in mesh and then what the system will do it will execute block mesh and snappy hex mesh dash overwrite and check mesh with all these flags and if you want to remesh so you also want to delete the poly mesh folder then you type in remesh this will run the rm command block mesh snappy hex mesh overwrite and check mesh so just take a look at this and then just copy these um, two lines into your bash rc file i will also post these two lines below this the video so if you are lazy then you can just copy these two lines from the description below this video but with that now meshing is much much faster and you don't have to worry about the syntax that maybe you are using here a lowercase h rather than an uppercase h or you forget this minus overwrite and 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 all the problems that you might face with snappy x mesh so you just save this and then let's just re reload bash rc and now uh, i just go back to my tutorial 1912 tutorial mesh snappy hex mesh and flange and so i already have a poly mesh folder so if i want that to start from scratch then i just type in mesh and now this executed block mesh and execute snappy hex mesh and now if i type in remesh this deletes my uh, poly mesh folder runs block mesh and runs also snappy hex mesh so it is very simple 
to do uh, this and all you have to do is then just open up your snappy hex mesh uh, dictionary in a text editor and then just go in between the text editor change your settings uh, in your text editor for snappy hex mesh dictionary and here you just type in remesh and enter and you don't have to worry about all the steps with rm minus r and block mesh and snappy hex mesh minus overwrite all you have to do is type in remesh okay so that was it that is what i wanted to show you i hope that you can utilize it this in your everyday life and that this will help you. I hope that you also like this video and that it helps you. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.